Hello, in the following video we are going to see the features of the Visual Arts Lab command that we can find here under the Visual Arts Object Toolbar. We can insert the slabs in different ways, using this icon here that creates a slab as if we were drawing a box, or from existing curves, so we will pick this option by now. This opens the insert dialog, which lets us choose one slab style, we have just a single style in this document, and the alignment. So we'll pick one corner of the slab and a second corner. Once the slab has been created, we can add or subtract boundaries from it, but we need to create auxiliary curves for this purpose. So moving to the top viewport, I will show some of the levels we have underneath, just to see the reference of the walls, and we'll create some curves that we'll use to subtract the boundary from the slab. So one curve to subtract the boundary, a second curve for the same purpose, and finally another curve to add the boundary to the slab. So now we run the slab subtract command, we pick this slab and we pick this curve and the subtraction has been done. We repeat the same process with this curve and finally we'll use the slab add boundary command to add this boundary we have created here. Now we can get rid of this auxiliary curve. We can adjust the contour of the resulting slab by activating its control points. So I select the slab, I activate the control points, and now I can just move it to the desired position. As I mentioned before, slabs can be created from existing curves, as long as they are planar and closed curves. So what we're going to do now is to draw some curve to add a balcony to this facade. So moving to the top viewport, I'm going to make sure I'm working from the level 1, I can turn that off, and activate the cut plane, so I can see the windows and doors section. Now. I create a curve I join the two curves and now we can already run the slab command from curve actually slabs can be created from surfaces if we run the slab command, we can see also here the from curves option and from surfaces. But now we are going to run it directly from this option. So again, I select the style, the alignment option, and I pick this curve for my slab. Now, if we activate the control points of this slab, we can see they are the same as the original curve it was, it was created from. Now we're going to see how to create slab styles that we can find here doing right click on the slab icon. This opens the slab style manager. We can see the existing style here and we can duplicate it 
or just create a new style to add new styles. So I'm going to delete, delete this one. And here we can see the different layers this slab has. So I can add new layers and define the different properties for each layer. So in this case, I will edit the geometry. So I will tell this is 28 centimeters. And I will make this layer 0, 2 centimeters. And I will move it up. I can also define different attributes by, by layer, such as the material, the layer, the color. So let's assign different color for this slab, for example. And now I can turn this slab into the one I've just created. Actually, the slab thickness can be defined by a style, as is so, or it can also be changed by object. So here you can see the different layers and the thickness to each one. So I can define a different thickness for this layer, or I can define the thickness by a style. Now we can create the rest of the balconies Again, using the slab from curve command, but first I will turn on this layer where I have some curves to generate these slabs. So I run the slab from curve command again. I now pick the style we have created before, the lineman, and I can select all these curves, all these closed curves to generate the slabs. And just to finish this set, we'll create the railings of the balcony using the railing from curve command. First, I'm going to turn on this layer where I have all the curves that we'll use to create the railings. I run the railing command. We select the style. In this case, we will pick the from curves option in the command line. And we can now select these curves to be the railings of these balconies. We cannot pick this curve we used it before because it's a closed curve. So I hit enter to finish this railings first. And now we're going to select this curve, explore it. And now I can run the railing command again using this remaining curve. 